Hi, it's Laura here from iHeart Planners, and today I'm going to show you some tricks that I use to manage my email, to get it down to inbox zero almost every single day without having to spend forever managing my inbox because, um, yeah, I'm sure you all understand how quickly it can get out of control. So I definitely use Gmail, and if you're not familiar with the Gmail tag system, um, I would say go ahead and look into that. I mean, assume you already. Um, use tags. It's just a way of organizing your email. You can apply a tag to any email and you can apply as many tags as you want. So you can be pretty detailed and how you specify it or you can put something in, you know, more than each email can have more than one tag. So it's pretty powerful how you can easily organize it. And then when you archive it um, in Gmail, you, you're not deleting it when you archive. You're just taking it out of the inbox and then it's only living either in the archive or in each of these and whatever you tagged it as. So the main trick that I use to keep me from having to look at a ton of emails all the time is I use automatic filters. So what this means is I can tell Gmail, hey, when this email comes in, go ahead and do this with it without me even having to do anything. So I have a lot of things automatically tagged and a ton of filters I tag and archive. So you'll see here I have this folder labeled junk and it's in quotations. It's kind of like the junk mailbox now. It's not because, um, I, I look at this one, it's stuff I want to get, it's not total junk, but it's like, um, if you sign up for like a newsletter or something, like, um, I'm on Old Navy's mailing list, like I want to know when they have a sale, and I do want to know, but it's not something that I need to see, like in my inbox, if I don't see it today, and it takes me a couple weeks, or if I really don't see it at all, like the world's not going to end, whereas like a personal email from somebody, of course I want to see, I want to see that email, so I don't want an automatic filter. So when I'm, this is a um, list that I'm subscribed to about um, how to, a membership challenge, how to create a membership site, and um, I'm interested in that information. If I were not interested, I would unsubscribe, and definitely don't be afraid um, to, to do that if it's just not something you think you really need to see at all but if you'd like to get it and you don't want it to show up in your inbox here's all that I do you click on more filter messages like these and it automatically fills it in so if it's from these people and you can use a bunch of different criteria if it has a subject line if it's to this person it has these words doesn't have all these kind of things then just click create filter with this search then you'll be able to do all these different things to that email. So the first thing I do with these is skip the inbox. That way it never even shows up in my inbox. So I don't have to deal with it. And then I want it to show up in this junk folder. So I kind of routine, you know, check that. If it's a really busy day, I won't check that. But most of the time I'll look at it just when I have some extra time. But you can do different stuff. You can mark it as red. Like, you can automatically star things if they're super important, forward it automatically, just delete it, um, which usually I would unsubscribe rather than doing that, but you can. Um, so there's a, there's several different things that you can do. Um, you can also apply it to conversations that are already in your inbox if you'd like. Then just click create filter, and it's going to do that to every new message that's from these people. So um, that's a pretty powerful way to keep your inbox numbers low so you don't have to you know my goal is really to get my inbox to where I'm mostly seeing the things that are pretty important for me to see every day and deal with right away and I advise you to just as much as possible go ahead and deal with your email as soon as um, when you sit down to deal with it go ahead and deal with all of them don't just leave them sitting in your e email box and I know um, I'm guilty of that sometimes but I do my best um, another feature, a couple of little bonus tips, um, there's this boomerang thing here. Um, boomerang is a pretty interesting option. What you can do if you install it um, into your Gmail, you can return it to kind of like almost snooze an email. So you can return your email to your inbox. It'll take it out of your email inbox. It puts it in a special folder so you can still see it. And it'll return it whenever you want. So like um, sometimes there's an email I know like um, if it contained information for somewhere that I was details of an appointment um, next week, I could have it come into my inbox that day or the day before. Um, you can either say in one week, you know, these different times or specify exactly. Um, or you can do it only if nobody responds. And I really like that feature so that if 
I send something and they respond, you know, of course it'll go back to my inbox. But if I want to follow up, if I don't hear back, that's a super um, useful feature. So that's an, one more, another feature. And if, um, if you're following me on Periscope, I recently shared something that I learned about Gmail that I seriously, like, <laughs> I don't know if I was living under a rock or something. I never um, knew that about Gmail and it's a super cool little trick you can do um, to send emails to yourself. So if you want to check that out, go to, um, I'll have a link to the replay um, below the video on the blog. Thanks.